DJ Pro allows us to connect various MIDI devices and pre-queuing devices. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the MIDI device settings. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up here, press the DJ Pro symbol over here, go to settings, and now it's going to be the second one over. I made a lot of videos about the settings, but I skipped over this one because I really wanted to spend extra time on it. So now I have nothing plugged in to my laptop. And this is what you are going to see. This is if you plan on DJing with just the laptop and no controller, which you could do perfectly fine with this amazing software. So let's go through. The first one is our main output. That is where the music is going to come out of. So right now it's saying main output, either the MacBook Air, so the speakers on the actual device. So that's what's selected now. And if I, if I play a song, it's going to come out of the speakers on this device, which is great for when you're preparing your tracks or if you just want to practice DJing and you're just, you don't want to connect speakers. So that's fine. It's showing the microphone. This is the microphone that I have plugged in while I'm using, while I'm making this video. And then next is an important part, which is pre queuing So right now I have nothing plugged in. I have no adapter or anything plugged in for pre queuing if you wanted to use a pre queuing adapter, all you would need is something like this that turns USB C into a way to plug in an audio cable. And then this headphone splitter, I got this with the Hercules Control Mix. And then you'd plug this into here, plug it into the laptop. And then in pre queuing, we would select split output. And then it will split the output for the splitter cable the next is booth this one it was recently added you could have a booth monitor if you're doing a big party and you have the speakers facing the audience you could have a separate speaker facing the dj booth and you could adjust which channel you want for this most bigger professional controllers will have an, an extra channel that you could use for the booth output so that's pretty cool that that, that they have it and then down here we have microphone so you can either use the microphone on your laptop, which I don't recommend doing. If you do have a USB microphone like I have with this Blue Yeti, you could actually use this. I would recommend experimenting with the USB microphone that you have before you do this at a gig. But you could actually use the USB microphone while you're DJing, making announcements and stuff like that. So this is our these are our settings with no controller plugged in. So now with with a controller plugged in, as soon as you connect the controller, you're going to see other options. It's going to say which controller you're using. And yes, you could have multiple controllers plugged in as long as you have an adapter that will support that. So with multiple controllers plugged in, what you are going to, to do is the same thing. You're going to adjust the settings so the main output, you could have them come out of whichever channel your controller has. Some of them more professional will have more more channels. Some will have less, less. Some controllers will have a spot for your headphones. Some won't. Some controllers have microphone import. A lot of the new mid to low range controllers do not have microphone import. So that's why I kind of like the older ones. So now you could adjust the pre queuing over that here, and then you can use the microphone through your controller instead of through the split output. Or you could do both if you want whatever you feel more comfortable with. This setting, this whole section of settings allows you to really customize and really be professional and dial in what sources you are using. And if you plug in a TV or a projector to your iPad, there will be more settings. If you want to learn how to connect your a TV or a projector to your laptop for video mixing and music video mixing, check out this video over here. Thank you.